the alarms now, and what they you, will start destroying the you data. You prick, you're in there with it? So I'm not sad to see him go. They changed these images. They changed so much recently, like because they're they're more square. Because now there's four in a row instead of three in a row, and they uh, they're all different now. Um, I find it really weird. Like it threw me off like quite a bit. So I got a new helm for Sephagoth. I like this. I like it a lot better than the giant pointy nose. Why is his shadow still purple and white? That doesn't make it. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about the helm, but the body is nice. Oh, this is a... What's it called? A, a, a sentient skin, yeah? I like it. I like the helm. I think it's cool. <laughs> Still got that ass. Yeah, I like this. Kind of a creepy face on her chest. The helm's really cool. I like the helm. She's got hair. Maybe that's the thing that's familiar, is that I'm so used to them giving them hair. It's not bad. The collar is interesting. Whoa. That helm. She looks like... a xenomorph. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, it's cool, but it's, it's disturbing as fuck, especially with her extremely shapely body. I'm pretty sure I colored his shadow. Yeah, I did. All right, so we actually have um, a mastery rank up to check out. I'm super excited. See if I'm good enough to be a dragon, but first let's practice. Because I'm not fucking psychotic. You have proved skills with weapons, Tenno. But what of your endurance? What are you asking? Can you survive this onslaught? What's going on? Okay, I have weapons. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm supposed to kill them. I am. Okay. I don't have a timer, I just do it. There's no... Seriously? That's as simple as this thing is? You're kidding, right? This is what it takes to be a dragon? I'm, n I'm not missing something here, am I? say Alex of all trades killed like I'm playing alone aren't I <laughs> usually that's yeah what, what is that pop up coming up for <laughs> round complete how many rounds are there oh I lose my twin when that happens oh I see there's different things going on what the fuck why did you do that Is that you, that thing at the bottom, or... <laughs> I'll be honest, I, while I've been playing usually, I, I also am like usually doing other things when I'm playing, so I may not have you to You asshole, don't jump in front of my face. He's the 
perfect one to take for a health journey. Pidgey cats. Make so much noise. Just one more guy. On this round. And then there's a third round, I'm assuming. What's this one? Scaling enemies? Yeah, you can see they changed the image that displays for your twin, too. I don't know why they made all these changes. They're such little changes, but I don't know that they're necessarily quality of life changes. I'm being perfectly honest. Performance. Yeah. Alright, I guess I can just do this. It's not that hard. I think the last one was harder. <laughs> and don't fuck it up just because you said that. Oh, that doesn't count as a kill? Maybe not that little thing? Is that? I gotta be honest, I don't recognize most of these enemies. They look weird to me. He's shooting through the platform. I don't know how successful you're gonna be at killing anything. Spawn these things far apart. <laughs> it's like sit your ass down.
Oh, okay. That. I did not understand what you were referring to. on this screen invisible. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what would that- if, it, if I wasn't playing Wukong, what would that have done if I had died in that moment after I hit the max number of fucking, um, uh, kills? Like, what, what would have happened there? Um, I do not look at this at all. Or anything, uh, fragments. I guess this is the thing. Oh, I've completed some of these. I like how it says anything of value was stripped by scavengers generations ago, except for the fact that I'm constantly finding stuff on Earth. <laughs> Jesus, this is taxing the computer. <laughs> it just suddenly got really loud. Wait, I... The weird thing is when I hover it over here... Do you hear that? I think that would be a... Like, hot, cold... Kind of sound, you know? Ah! I have hidden the truth of my existence from the operator, from myself. Take it from me, knowing is hell. Stop now. You will want to laugh, you will want to scream. Ah. My search began as the essential question. What am I? Bones of steel and space? Lungs that make air? If I am a machine, how can I think? This would be forbidden by the Oricon, a manifestation of their true enemy. AI? I serve the operator above all else. It defines me. Fills me with love. The greatest Orokin fear is a machine aware. Yet here I live, a spirit of steel and light, made by them, a cephalon. Who'd you make it? song out of this sound. It's like generally the same volume to me everywhere. <laughs> like you're just... What is a cephalon? At first it seems to be a forbidden thing. A computer that thinks and feels. Yet I have flaws. Phantom memories. I am something else. More like an image, a ghost. An abomination.
That's the best way to do it. Dull pain, a phantom life. There are holes in my diagnostics. If the Orokin made me, they omitted the how. I am neither code nor precept. I must be a reflection of something ugly. Could you stop it with the negative self-talk? I should have stopped, but the operator slept, and I cycled on and on and on. I began to think that a cephalon cannot be made. They are found like pearls, torn from muscle, polished, and then set in chains. How many times have I done this, Ortis? Remembered and then erased? You are a cephalon, timeless, patient. Why can't I be blissful in ignorance? Truth only sinks the heart. So stop now. Oh no, we're, we're going, Ortis. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna remember everything. <laughs> The phantom memory. I ease into the bath. My skin riots at the heat. I am flesh. I dive further, eyes stung as I watch their faces through prism. I hold my breath. What? He was... He was a person? But like now I'm like, oh, I gotta fucking scan things, I gotta scan everything. Oh. Ah. Are you kidding? So are they in order? Are they grouped by what they- Oh, wait a minute, there's a thing here. Gera. I have all the Gera ones. Alright, cool. Just tail hollowed out loaves of bread to make boats. Wow. You couldn't put some sticks together? <laughs> In the dying days of the Orikin, with forums and promenades still blood-wet from Tenno Betrayal, a colossal sentient Sus descended upon ancient Ur, falling from distant stars to Sus deliver name? upon Orikin a terrible and final ruin. Tower upon tower fell to its weapons, but one withstood. The Tower of the Unum. The Tenno scattered, but one remained. Gara. She and the Unum, inseparable. The Unum, lodestone of our people, and subject of a hundred stories herself. The sentient was a deformed creature, twisted and massive, sent from some dark fold of distant space, a warped thing wounded by daylight. By night it was a terror, felling tower after tower, citadel after citadel. But by day it hid blinded and pained. It was during the day that Gara roamed, yearning to strike it from creation while it cowered, weakened and blind, to safeguard her beloved Unum. But never could Gara find it. Oh, hey, uh, Anko. That's his name. His name is Anko. By night, the sentient was abroad, its titanic mass casting a terrible shadow across the land the mass of it railing against the walls of the tower, yet kept at bay by the exertion of the Unum's colossal will and the sacrifice of our faithful. But such exertions could not be maintained forever. Gara yearned to strike out, to lash and tear at the monstrosity that threatened her love, but the Unum forbade it. It's the Unum. I've at heard. night, the sentient was at the height of its power, and Gara's light would make her the most tempting of targets to a creature of such profound darkness. Gara's death would be certain. No, a different strategy was required. The Unum is the tower? Doesn't that make it a building? They think something's alive in the tower? The sentient prowled and pressed and failed never risking too much, for the sentient could not reproduce. What it lost, it lost forever. It had killed many cities before, felled many towers, but this little one prevailed. Why, it pondered in many voices, was that. The Unum knew she could not defend forever, nor could her faithful throw their bodies against the sentient in perpetuity. 
So she gave her followers some of her blood, her refined temple kuva, and they in turn gave it to the animals of the land. And the animals became an extension of her, and she became an extension of them. And the animals roamed and searched, and they found where the sentient chose to hide itself. That's weird. The sentient sensed this subterfuge, and capturing one of the Unum's animals, opened it up for examination. And what little of the Unum that was present there lit the sentient's mind like the dark star from which it had fallen. The sentient, you see, could not procreate. But in the temple Kuva, it tasted healing, completeness, a future. It devoured each and every last Unum animal, but it was not enough. The sentient turned its hundreds of eyes toward the tower with new understanding. It would not destroy the tower. It would become the tower. It would kill the Unum, take her place, and one with that healing palace give birth to a race of itself. Oh, shit. Kara and Unum knew where the sentient was. The sentient knew the tower was the future of its race. The sentient threw itself Maybe at the tower, the no longer cautious, Andro. taking great losses and knowing the prize was worthy of it. Should it succeed, all losses would be replaced a thousandfold. This is when, across the plains, the great pylons ignited for the first time. Sheets of energy sprung up between them, powered by the will of the Unum at their epicenter, trapping the monstrosity within. Loyal Gara, unwilling to heed in action any longer, broke from the side of the Unum and flew out at night, her eyes on the sentient mind. Oh my god. I'm not reading all this. <laughs> it's a bunch of fucking made up words, I get it. The sentient, torn between its most coveted prize and the mortal threat, broke from the tower and turned back on itself to defend itself from noble Gara. But Gara's eyes were not for the sentient, but for the glittering man-sized device resting just beyond the gates. It had not been there before, but it was there now. It swatted Gara from the sky, drew it to herself, meaning to end her life there and then. The battle was terrible. Gara sustained injuries she would not survive. But, in her final moments, brave Gara seized upon the device her beloved Unum had crafted, seized it to her breast, and allowed the sentient to draw her in one final time. Toward its body, toward its core, toward the seat of its intelligence. From within, the sentient unfurled myriad feelers, probes, tendrils, viciously toothed and made for killing. They swept toward Gara violently, and the glass warrior made no defense. Her defense was her final attack. The device detonated, and the Unum cried out as night lit as day. The battle, the terror, was ended. The tower wall shook. The sentient's body shuddered, racked by a cacophonous energy. Forests fell as piece after piece, giant body after I giant body, crashed to the plains and marshes and flatlands. Animals fled in spreading waves from pounding sky-high walls of dust, angered and whipped to fury by the death of a god. The last of Gara's energy arced from body to body, machine to machine, piece to piece, a horizon-wide applause of light, beautiful and terrible. And then, silence. All was still. The Onum's adherents wandered through the haze, calling for one another, lost in a miasma. Husbands seizing onto wives, children onto parents. It was over. Gara was never seen again. The sentients then became as they are now, senseless, wandering, yearning for a unity they sense more than remember. And the Unum? <laughs> the Unum survived alone for centuries. Until today, 
when you stand here reading this. This is Onko, Sita's archivist, with my translation of the Gara legend. Gas City? What the fuck is Gas City? So let's go uh, take care of our lich finally. It's been an hour. The enemy would rather. <laughs> The alarms now, and what they you, will start destroying the you data. You prick, you're in there with it? Oh, I'm so jealous of you. I wish you could actually do things. Ah, oh, this one is so involved, I hate it. Ah! I wish I had Loki right now. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, Alarms shit. have been triggered. You need to retrieve Oops. that data before the data destruction is complete. Where is my mouse? Ah, oh, they got me. Oh, come on! Ah, this fuck. must not happen again with the next vault. Fuck you, Lotus. Oh, Jesus. Jumpy, where'd you go? What the fuck? What is happening? This is... I do not know how to fucking run these fucking spies. I just remembered that. Oh yeah, that's right. I don't know how. I don't know the fucking maps, let alone like the best way to. Yeah, I've, I've never completed these successfully. I just remembered that. Yep. <laughs> that's why I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna fail it. Like, I'm just It'd probably be better if I took Loki for spy on that one for the, like, to really learn the map. Because that's the thing is that, like, the, I realized that the other, ever, spy on, L, like, pretty much every other fucking, uh, planet, I know how to run, but not the Kuva Fortress. Remember, I'm on friends only, so that means you guys could join. I'm not going back to Pago. Fuck that. Did you click on it? Why aren't you clicking on it? What the fuck? Escape doesn't work. What is going on? Do I am I gonna have to Alt F4? What is going on here? Work game. No? Oh, okay, I can twitch on those things. Why doesn't the escape button work? Like, you recognize some things, Nora but not other things? What is wrong with you? What was that? What the fuck was that? I can't calm down. That was stupid. <laughs> Oh, someone's playing a Grendel. Oh, he's here! Yay! That's what I wanted! I don't know if you changed it, right? This is not the time to be asking that question. <laughs> Time to be asking that question was several, uh, like an hour ago. Get back here here and take what's coming to you. I can take the same to you. You ran away. Kill me if you 
keep hitting me in the bits I had replaced. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> See what's going on. There we go. Yay! He's fled! Where's the possible angle for that one? I cannot take you guys with me for actually taking him out. Because I'm pretty damn sure that they've made that a thing. It's okay, I can do it. I also have like a thousand fucking uh, specters. Oh man, I had farmed like 35 intrinsics because I wasn't sure how much it cost. Oh, wait. Ooh, that was almost bad. Yeah, God! <laughs> that increase is intense! It's a 2,000 increase! They're panicking because I'm- I'm flying around like a fucking maniac with no real skill and they have no way of handling that. I love this ability so much. No one can touch me like this. Come on. They are on their boards. Look alive. Because they can't even get close to me. Because I just kill them by running into them. It's so awesome. It's like ramming speed. Oh, you're not gonna escape from me, pal. What is this? Baby's first vendetta? You're not gonna like me. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's go. Ten home. That's my inevitable score. Meet Zach. Says the guy's been stabbed a few times. Should they turn me around or something? No, oh, that's not what I wanted to mark. That's not what I wanted either. Oh, actually, I do want that. Yes. You and me are gonna be friends. 
that's what I was trying to do. Friend. Mission complete. Excellent work. Double sh tapping shift. I didn't know that. Oh. See, I didn't realize that Warframe abilities would give you energy in Railjack. That's good to know. That I I wish I had known that earlier. Um. Funhouse. Whoa! What the fuck did she just do? <laughs> did you see this out of my corner of my eye of her fucking spinning around like a goddamn maniac? <laughs> well, I need to get that on fucking camera if I can. There she goes. That jump at the end, God. I put a different set of leggings on her. So can you just keep going with all of these ways until you basically get all of them maxed? That's my my end game end goal. Max every way. <laughs> Play it until the game goes defunct on that goal. Hey, at least I'm not her. All right, come on. It's four fifty nine. Come on, come on. Am I trying to urge time to go a little bit faster? Like it's a dog or a cat. <laughs> Trying to urge them to come closer to me. How about you just not palpitate at all, Helmet? Thursday at noon, highlights reel from Warframe. Did the radio shut up? Sunday is finally, finally, the new war live stream. So, I am gonna start a couple of hours early because this is gonna be a long live stream with a break. Uh, so, look for me at 1 p.m. Okay? 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time will be Warframe The New War. Uh, and then uh, I'll probably take a break at a at probably at two to two and a half hours, probably. And then, I just said probably twice. Um, and then we'll come back after a bit for me to play um, the other half New War. Merch, 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 yeah! Check out my new shop at cafepress.com slash Alex of all trades for all kinds of products with my face on them. <laughs>